Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some rogues. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. As the phoenix rises from the ashes, so too shall my hotel rise from obscurity. But yeah, if you ever need to take a load off, just use whatever rooms are open. Always happy to help my one true bro. Uh, hello? Aren't you all forgetting about someone? And... Action! Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Others, an unstoppable assassin. And the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But, who am I truly? Who ties what rose? The one and only Yuffie! Here, jerk face, where do you think you're going? I challenge you to a duel! If I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? Oh, it's like that, huh? Where's your pride? Your fighting spirit! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid you're about to catch a beatdown? <laughs> of course you are. I mean, who wouldn't be intimidated by my awesome ninja skills? But have no fear, weaklings. For I, the most beguiling of ninjas, will be your new best friend. Well, bet you're thrilled, huh? Oh, really? Fine then. It's your loss. <laughs> the hell is her deal? Hey! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> think this through. Are you absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts? You can come with. I knew you'd say that. Well, seeing as you're so desperate, I guess I'll oblige you. Welcome to the team, Yuffie. <laughs> you try anything funny, anything, I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu-Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> you won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuffie Kisaragi. <laughs> okay, let's see over here and. <laughs> History. Hey, how about an orb or two?
you're the one who got into it with that Shinra scientist. Oh wow, it is you! I'm Fran. And I'm Naomi. Name's Yorda. And we would like to hire you for a job. Interested? That depends. It's simple. Girl and boy go on a date. Easy peasy, right? A date? The three of us are designers for Costa del Sol's premier fashion boutique. For our next line, we're thinking something sexy. Perfect for the beach, the bar, or in the boudoir. But creatively speaking, it's been a struggle. We've been racking our brains forever. And the showcase is basically now. It's do or die, and we don't want to kill our careers. So, that's where you come in. We want to see a real couple on a date, for inspiration. Well, sound like a good gig? Because we can tell you like your women assertive. And since we're all about strong, confident ladies, we thought, ka-ching! One look at you and we knew. That woman's not afraid to take what she wants. Maybe? I mean, uh, I'd like to think so. Hojo, as in... That Shinra guy? We were just doing the mayor a favor. That's all. And if we're being honest, we figured it couldn't hurt to butter up a company bigwig. We got a business to run. We knew you would! And so... We've already planned the perfect date for lovebirds like you. Get rowdy at Run Wild. Be ready to swashbuckle at Pirate's Rampage. This is going to be your best date yet. We'll make sure of it. You're going to absolutely love what we've cooked up for you. First, find Naomi and Fran. They'll kickstart your date. They'll be waiting for you at Run Wild and Pirate's Rampage. Have fun! This is one of the stranger jobs you've accepted. Still a job. I'll take the lead. Hey, I can help. I'll make this date our best yet. We could just keep it simple. And what's a simple date in your world? Like a walk? Across rooftops, perhaps? Sure. Ah, memories. Look who it is. So, are you ready to aim and fire? Do well, and you might just land a bullseye on her heart. You got this. You did it. Confident.
look at that score. Those were some pro numbers. But what did the lady think? Oh, got me right through the heart, the cat. <laughs> you know, the secret is to aim for the head, not the heart. She never once took her eyes off her man. And the way she stared at him, the score didn't matter. Thanks, cuties. That was just what I needed. I'll head back, now that the creative juices are flowing again. You two, however, still have a date to finish. Go find Naomi at Run Wild. I wonder what the girls have next on the agenda for us. More cheap date ideas? Oh, lighten up. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. Trying to get paid. You're no fun at all today. Well, for the record, I am treating this as a date. I wish you would. Hey, how about an orb or two? Check out the best locally made accessories right here. Believe me, I know. Right. Step right up. We've got the best selection. Welcome to Run Wild, a paradise for animals big and small. Someone took their sweet time, I see. Better hurry or the game will start without you. What game? Run wild, of course. Tell me you've heard of it. It's only the hottest sport in town. Not hard to guess why, seeing all those cutie booties. I mean, it's the perfect spot for a date. Are you ready to go? All right. Wish me luck, okay? You do know this is for animals, right? Not people? People are technically animals, too. Right? So it's cool. Wrong! Not cool. What? I really can't compete? No, but your pet can. Although I take umbrage with that nomenclature, I'm happy to offer my assistance. Brett's got this. <sighs> well, I guess we'll just have to be the cheer squad. Give me an R! Give me an E! Give me a D! A red bolt shooting across that field. I am quick on my feet. The three of us should go around sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> if you enjoy losing. Hmm. Their dog is the glue that binds their relationship. And watching their little guy give it his all out there only served to strengthen their bond. That's it. 
I'm such a genius! I've got to get this idea down on paper. I need to get back to the shop, like, yesterday. Yord is at the stables for the final part of your date. So what are you waiting for? Get those tushies on a chocobo. I wonder which one I should try. It's fine, but no biting. Wonder what sort of design the girls are gonna come up with. Hey, what kind of swimsuit would you want to see? Me? Yes, you. I'm curious. Well, I prefer Apple functional reform. Hey, so durable. Maybe All made with non-absorbent materials that allow the for full range of motion. Is on In case you need to fight Choco underwater. Uh, <laughs> Okie dokie then. There you are. Okay, I've got a great activity for you. So the idea is to ride Kaima here and enjoy a romantic stroll along the beach. Oh! But that on its own sounds like a huge yawn fest. So try hunting for shells while you're at it. How about you bring me the largest one you can find? Sound good? I'll be chillin' back here. So you two run along and have yourselves one shell of a time. I don't know about you, but this is definitely a first for me. You've ridden them before. I'm not talking about the chocobos. Oh. You meant the shells, right? Right. Wait a second. Are you nervous? About what? Easiest job I've ever had. The Merc's nervous! Should be able to find some good shells around here. But first, we clean up the trash. Keep it together. Watch yourself. So it's my turn. Don't worry. Mine is got us. Every little bit helps. Try using it. You can do it. My turn. One more. <laughs> 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 Don't overdo it. Let me do it. Time. It's on you. Tagging out. <laughs> this one's for you. Get him. Let's finish. Yeah. Yeah. Now's our chance. Time to end it. who live in them would make for good eating. Wonder how they taste. <laughs> we could ask a local, but you don't strike me as the type to care all that much. I don't. It's so teeny tiny. You know, 
A lot of troopers take half a show with them when they head out on missions. I know where this is going. It's meant to be a keepsake for their partner, right? A symbol of their undying love. And an omen of death for the trooper if anyone else sees either one, some people say. Oh, that took a turn. Well, that's not what we wanted. Good luck! No. Needs more magic. Uh -huh. Maybe this will do the trick. It's your turn. Deal with that. I got that. Yes. You're fine. Ah. It's all you. I'll... you can do it. Take it over. There. Yeah. Get ready. One too. Whew. I think that should just about do it. Okay, ready to go? Are you sure? Really? Leaving the decision to me? What about you, Cloud? Are you sure? This is the part where you're supposed to blurt out. I don't want to go back. I want to stay here with you. This date's DOA otherwise. Okay, now you're just being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I... sorry. You too. So, happen to find any neat shells out there? How is the beach? Romantic? <sighs> Whoa. Huge, right? Dang. That thing belongs in a museum or something. I can't help but wonder what is making her smile from ear to ear like that. Is it the shells? Or... Inspiration has finally struck. I know what to make. But before I go, swing by the fashion showcase. We want you front row center. See you there.
Next time we need a chocobo, I say we write double. The and slow down way the bird? To make is on Which would back. make it that much chocobo easier to take right in all the scenery. I'm still steering. Whoa! I'm in the oh, presence fine. of the master. If you've got to be the man up front... All I wanted was some R&R. Grab a materia pop and give your taste buds a magical infusion. Try all our exciting... Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Wanna shoot your shot? This swimsuit's got perfect aim. <laughs> Love might be a game, but you'll never lose in this winning ensemble. Wanna land a big catch? With this look, it'll be hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> My friends, who among you doesn't ache for that perfect swimsuit physique? You wanna get ripped? You want a hot fog? Then you better train with the best of the best! So come, come join, join our, our gym, gym and muscle, muscle maximize! I'm so glad you came! So, what did you think of the show? You were the inspo after all. I absolutely loved it! But the two of us didn't do anything inspo-worthy. We just had fun. That's what we wanted. Happy couples get us inspired and fired up. Exactly. This place is more than just a vacay spot. It's a paradise where people come to create lifelong memories. And making sure they do is what we do best. So next time you swing by, promise to frolic in the waters, bask in the sun, Enjoy our town to its fullest, and leave with a smile. <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me? Is that Cloud? Oh, hey! You trade the city for the beach, too? What are you doing here? Relaxing, really. We're on our yearly beach retreat. And commissioning this year's new singlets from these talented young women. <laughs> oh, right. That reminds me. Stop by the training facility when you have a moment. We're in need of your particular skills. Okay. I'm expecting lots of lovebirds next season. We should call our new design the Romantico. Do you think your furry friend would mind modeling for me? I wonder if there's a market for doggy swimsuits. People are going crazy for the new designs. I just hope we can make enough to meet the demand. you just missed the unbeatable ambiance of my seaside paradise. Either way, I'm glad you're here, because I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt-free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is... You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny be, then who, pray tell, am I? So, yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse him. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot! Aww. How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, 
See what I have to deal with? <sighs> it's true. Poor Yanni and I were separated at birth when he was ripped from our mother's arms. The creatures that stole him brought him up in the wild as one of their own, and... No, he's not my twin! This wouldn't have anything to do with me using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro! I sent them off to the Costa Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one, one knows, knows me better, better than myself. And uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. We think, you'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. Having our bro help out's like having a hundred of us. Even better. Throw a hundred Johnnies in a fight and we'd still get our asses kicked. This is gonna be tough with just us. Oh, maybe I could make some clones of me and you to help out. That is a terrible idea. Uh, I think you meant to say terrific idea. Come on, Cloud. Just imagine how much fun it could be. Hmm. Well, <laughs> what did I tell ya? More Yuffies, more fun. This looks like a job for the Yuffie squad. How about we take a look over there? Nah, I think we'd have better luck over there. <laughs> if it's not Materia, I'm not interested. <laughs> hey, Cloud! Uh, Cloud? Are you even listening to us? See? Like, like I, I said, said, fun! No, not fun.
you could make it. Cloud, Tifa. Once a year, we take a retreat to enjoy the sun and sea breeze. Nothing like getting some games in the great outdoors. What do you say? Care to sweat with us? I think I would. I haven't done a proper workout in forever. Well, we'll happily help you both become your best selves. Train with us as long as you like. You mean it? Well, I might just take you up on that. Here's a question for you, Cloud. What would you say is the key to a good workout? Exactly. Can't expect to bulk up without the building blocks. Treat your muscles to a nice post-workout meal, and they'll reward you with even bigger gains. Now let's get down to business, shall we? The reason I wanted you to stop by? Monsters have been spotted skulking around the facility, and I want them gone. Sure. Should be easy enough. Splendid. We can't train our bodies unless our minds are at ease. So you'll be doing all of us muscle heads a big favor. Don't you dare quit on me! Let's get out there and kick some ass. Someone's excited. Well, yeah. Wanted an excuse to work up a sweat, and now I've got one. Wonder what little Tifa would say. <laughs> I think she'd be pretty proud. Just some mental meal prep. The ideal post-workout dish. <laughs> so, you were the one behind 7th Heaven's menu? Half was a holdover from the old owner. The better half was mine. Huh. Should've ate there more. Yeah. You snooze, you lose. It's on you. Good luck. You're in good hands now. Soldiers can't be choosers. We ate what we were fed. Well, I used to be super picky, actually. Really? Used to be. Not anymore, though. Can't be choosers in the slums, either. What about crab? Mm, 
not a fan. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Deal with that. All set. How about you show me what you got? Keep it together. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's over. Let's do this. Going in. It's over. Back to the planet. Take the lead. Soldiers. They put a lot of thought into making them healthy. Not much into making them tasty. Ugh. <laughs> that face says it all. You know, it's funny. I didn't realize it at the time, but we ate pretty good when we were kids. Ready to head back? That's the last of them, right? Heard you two took care of our little monster problem. Can't thank you enough. Now we can get back to training fiend free. Excuse me. Sorry about it. But you wouldn't happen to be the one who beat these guys in a pull-up contest, would you? Uh. Watch it, rookie! Don't badmouth us! But that's how it went down, right? Mm. You're Tifa, right? After I heard how you crushed it, I knew I had to join the gym. You're the reason I'm here. Oh, wow. And I'm not your only fan. Look, all of us signed up because we wanted to be just like you. It's just as she says. Thanks to you, our female membership has absolutely skyrocketed. Needless to say, we're very grateful. I didn't really do anything. Are you kidding me? You're literally my inspiration. Which is why I, uh... I want to challenge you to a sit-up contest! Uh, right now? So you know, Amina's been training to achieve your look, Tifa. You'd be helping her measure her progress. Let me sweeten the deal. If your abs prove superior, I'll add a bonus to your reward. How's that sound? Keep it up! Yeah. Incredible! 
incredible form! <sighs> that was perfect. <sighs> Looking good. Let me see you sweat. <sighs> Don't you ever get sore? <sighs> Just like that! <laughs> Show off. Beautiful! <laughs> Where'd that come from? You're killing it! Incredible form! I'm at a loss for work. I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles! It's almost like your muscles are singing! Show off. Truly incredible. You really are on a whole other level. What can I say? <laughs> wow, you've got abs of adamantite. Thanks a lot. You put up a good fight, though. Like I said, you're an inspiration to me, to all of us. Nobody's born with a beautiful physique like yours. I can tell you poured gallons of blood, sweat, and tears into your training. Honestly, I... <sighs> Sorry. Thank you. Glad I could help. Well, actually, I was hoping that, if it's not too much to ask, would you, Tifa, be my muscle mentor? Me? Really? I don't know. By all means, you have my blessing. If you don't mind dropping by from time to time, I'm sure she'd benefit from your advice. Might as well. If that's what you want, then I'll back you up. Oh my gosh, thanks, coach! <laughs> <laughs> Muscle mentor. Has a nice ring to it. Here you go, then. Your extermination fee. And is promised a little extra for helping her out. Come back whenever you want to pump some iron. You're always welcome. remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible. You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kind of, sort of, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi. It's a thing we do. <sighs> hey there, bro. Hey, Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no, I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not me. me. So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? No, no way. You're, you're too, too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you talking shit about me? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler. But it turns out nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. So Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best. Oh, 
baby, this is it! That boiler is as good as fixed. Hot, steamy showers in every room. <sighs> well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... There's one more. <sighs> Where is he? Said he wanted to give the hotel royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Fine. Just sit tight. You already know where to find the king. Just gotta pay him a visit. Oh, your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro. I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat. Well, if it isn't the talk of the resort! I can't thank you enough for handling that mess. Is there anything I can do for you? Ooh. Oh, that ungrateful schlub. I hope the hero is enjoying his 15 minutes of fame. It won't last, and neither will his hilltop roach trap. Just give it time. <laughs> I certainly wasn't expecting the professor to do something like that. Still, I'm a simple man. And from what I gather, his experiment was of great scientific import. So while I could have done without the collateral damage, it fills me with pride to be the mayor who holds a special footnote in Shinra's illustrious history. There were a few injuries, yes, but no guests were killed. In all honesty, the professor did us a service by ridding us of those robes. The freaks were ruining our ambiance. Shinra also did us a service by providing us with a generous do- oh, uh, Forget I said anything. Well, all that ugliness is in the past. Let's look to our future. One that's bright and mutually beneficial. I'm not buying it. Oh, surely I can sell you on the idea of lending the Merc I've hired a hand. What's this about a Merc? Oh, perhaps your associates. That makes things easier. You see, some fiends popped out of the water and assaulted a group of innocent beachgoers the other day. The young lady agreed to exterminate those pests, only to go on a bender at a bar on the beach. I paid her a handsome sum up front, too, so I intend to get my money's worth. Oh, and after you've gotten rid of those monsters, as a personal favor, I want you to take care of that Merc. Uh... She's been spending the money I paid her to do nothing but party. Each time she learned there are some folks you don't cross. Hmm. Agreed. I've no doubt you'll find her at that damned bar. Do give her my regards. Dealing with those monsters should bring my approval rating back up. 
just in time for the next election. See that those fiends and that brat get what's coming to them. Welcome to my Costa del Sol headquarters. <laughs> Figured I'd set up shop here, in case there's trouble in paradise. I know Junon was kind of a bust, but I'm back and better than ever. Same goes for my advertising. So don't you worry about me, my fellow Merc. Aren't you supposed to be working? <sighs> really? Another lecture? For a 20-something, you sound like my grandma. And for the record, I have been working. Thank you very much. I figured out where the fiends are probably gonna show. All that's left is to have someone else do the cleanup. Let me guess. Me? Exactly. So don't try to pin it on this, Mark. The whole situation would be resolved if you did your job. Nobody likes a slacker. Man, this girl's got some nerve. And coming from me, that's seen a lot. But if we don't do something, it's your good name that's gonna end up taking the hit. Hmm. She's got a point. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Your thoughtful bosses dug up a recipe for bait that ought to lure those monsters out of hiding. All you need to do is gather the materials and make some for yourself. Here. When you're done, head to the off-limits beach across town for some monster baiting. <sighs> you're coming with. Can't do this alone. Oh, looks like you managed to whip up some bait. Now all you gotta do is lure those fiends out and bash their brains in. Head to the off-limits beach and sprinkle that nasty stuff around. Can't believe fiends just leapt out of the water and attacked people on the beach. Which is why it's off-limits now. Except to you. What better way to drum up new business than by throwing a fabulous party? I should have thought of this ages ago. You're clearly not the party type, so I'll handle this client-facing crap and leave you the fun stuff. No sign of trouble. Maybe we've got to lure him out. Let's see if those baddies take the bait. Some legend. This bait's a bust. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Sorry, but we're in here. Keep it together. Here yeah. goes. Don't worry. The planet's got This should make you stronger. Let's get serious. Can you take over? Don't for overdo me? it. If you insist. Holds the best kept ninja secret! There's more. Right. Right. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. Do me proud. It's on you. I'm coming. Don't overdo it. You won't regret this. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing? I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but 
She doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. Welcome back, fellow Merc. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Ah, perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Huh? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie. But this is no laughing matter. Huh? Wait, hang on a sec. Please. Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to take me out? What did I do wrong? Oh god, I don't know. Wait a minute. Is this about my looks? I'm so gorgeous that you can't take your eyes off me, distracting you from your mercenary duties. Right? That's the best you can come up with? No, wait! Well, let me guess. Are you mad that I called myself a mercenary? Or was it that I pressured you into doing all the dirty work? Or that I wasn't giving you a big enough cut? <sighs> Do you want to die? Uh -uh. Forgive my granddaughter her questionable sense of humor. Uh, Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah, you've told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah, oh, Kyrie. You know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Uh, I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. <laughs> I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? Ah. Oh, forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you. Or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners. Equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then, shall we head home? The people need us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. <laughs> Thank you for stepping in back there. I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, let's say we look for one last job before we leave. Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mayor. Just a little? <laughs> so, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the Merc, just like he wanted. <laughs> I love making. Oh, there you are, friends. I heard you ran that little swindler out of town. 
I would have preferred a more final farewell, but she's gone and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. Sir, we've got trouble. See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. <laughs> We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums. Radiant saviors of the sun-kissed. No way! <laughs> you go, girls! Service. So we've got a walk? Ah, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. <sighs> right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go! You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Ooh, so hurt. What? Uh, Didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure. You can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant. Tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. I think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia... I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's... Not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. Yeah! Yeah! 
your turn. Ready to go. Don't catch a cold. Get ahead of ourselves. Still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! The hell are you doing, Red? Relax. It's too long. Let's go! Feeling jealous. These days ain't got no manners. You greet each other, it's proper. Well, I'll be. Finally, folks who've got some manners. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even try calling out to a few sick looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. <sighs> Hikers these days never learn to greet each other or something. Ran into a sprightly little lady, too. Now she was in a real hurry. Couldn't even say hello. Must have been trying to stay ahead of that angry looking fella with the pretty gal. Mountain ain't no place to be running races, I'll tell you that.
you go. Again? Well, look who it is. <clears throat> you here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here...
together. I got it. Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real? Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors, unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu-Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. 